Expedition 25 Commander Doug Wheelock gave a tour of the Russian segment of the orbiting complex, including the Soyuz spacecraft docked there. Wheelock showed off the station's ham radio using the call sign NA1SS to talk with people on the ground as the station flies overhead at 17,500 miles per hour. Wheelock and flight engineers Shannon Walker and Fyodor Yuchikin all will return home to Earth this Thursday, November 25th. Welcome aboard. It's a pleasure to have you aboard today, and uh, I wanted to show you a little bit about our ham radio operations on board. I've, the last several months and weeks, uh, I've really enjoyed using the ham radio and uh, talking to ham radio operators all over the world. The, most of our contacts are, are normally, I find, over North America, uh, Mexico, then into uh, Central America, and even in the Caribbean. I've had a few contacts uh, through South America and also in Africa. And then again, over Europe, uh, we have several contacts that we've made over Europe and then also in Australia and Japan. And tonight, uh, you're in for a real treat. Uh, we're getting ready to have a pass over North America. This, this pass will actually be entering uh, U.S. airspace right around the mid-coast of, uh, of Oregon, the state of Oregon, uh, just a little south of Portland and we'll be flying over the central part of the U.S. and sort of exiting uh, U.S. Um, airspace, if you will, um, right around Brownsville, Texas, and uh, going into Mexico over the Yucatan uh, Peninsula, so we'll get some contacts. I've had several contacts in, uh, in Cuba, and that's been a lot of fun. Got a lot of great friends there. And, uh, and we'll go down over South America, and you'll see how the, um, how the uh, contacts taper out as we enter uh, uh, into the South American um, airspace. And uh, I just wanted to share this with you because it's been a lot of fun. We, we um, get a chance to look out the window uh, uh, quite often, and we try to do that each day. And, um, but using the ham radio, it's a little more uh, sparse the times I get to do that uh, because you have, you have to be kind of time the, uh, your, your pass over the area where you want to make the contacts. And, um, and during the work day, that's difficult to do when we've got uh, a lot of work going on down here in the U.S. segment and the uh, ham radio is located in the Russian service module, which is the F part of the uh, space station. And um, so lining that up with, with some free time and some time when people uh, where we're calling would be awake as well, since we operate off of Greenwich uh, Mean Time, I have to remember that uh, we're six, uh, seven, eight, ten hours, nine, ten hours ahead of, uh, of times in the U.S. And so to make contacts there, usually it falls out that's during my evening uh, time either during pre-sleep or even into sleep time. Don't tell uh, our flight directors. But um, it's been a lot of fun, and it's a, it's a uh, Sunday evening, and um, it's getting uh, uh, on into the afternoon in the States. And so we should have a lot of contacts today on a weekend. And so I want you to, uh, to enjoy this. Now, there, is, there are some challenges to, um, uh, to using the ham radio on board. And um, I think it gets frustrating for the ground, uh, for the folks on the ground as well, because uh, they're making a very, what they feel is a very clear transmission uh, to the space station. And uh, then sometimes I don't hear the entire call sign, don't hear the entire transmission. And so it's difficult for me to, um, to give them a call back. And I know that's hard to understand, but I'll, I'll, I want you to experience this to see, because when we enter U.S. airspace, I'll just leave them, I'll just leave the mic off on the ham radio, and I want you to listen. They'll start calling the station um, uh, before we even get to the coastline. And um, usually on the west coast, those early callers that we get, um, I'll get a clear signal and we'll get the entire call sign. And then you'll hear the barrage of, uh, of call signs. It's sort of, it's sort of like a, uh, an alphabet soup. You hear, you hear letters and numbers coming up and different voices from different states and different regions. And uh, they're all coming up at the same time, and so it, it, it uh, becomes a conglomeration of, uh, of uh, alphanumeric uh, codes that you have to try to decipher. And it, you get better with it with time. Uh, but when I first started out, I was, I was a little overwhelmed at the barrage of, uh, of um, call signs coming in and how to, how to more, most efficiently pick out the call signs and then, uh, and then make those contacts. And of course, a, a great contact is that I hear their call sign and I call them back with our call sign um, that I have them loud and clear aboard the space station. And our call sign here on the, on the space station is November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra. So you'll hear, you'll hear that coming over the, uh, the airways. So November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra, Sierra 
our NA-1SS. You'll hear that. Um, sometimes people will say uh, call just for the International Space Station. Uh, you may hear that as well. So, um, And then uh, what I've been trying to do is uh, if I get a partial call sign, I'll uh, uh, it's normally a string of a string of numbers and letters, usually one number in there. And um, if I only hear the last couple of numbers or a couple of numbers in the call sign, I'll repeat those couple of numbers and say that I missed the first part of the call sign or the second, uh, last part of the call sign, and have them uh, call back. So normally that will uh, whittle it down, and sometimes uh, uh, folks will will kind of back off a little bit and allow that um, allow that uh, ground station to to uh, retransmit um, that signal. So a lot of times on the, if I get a couple of letters and I repeat those back, that uh, folks will use courtesy and uh, allow that uh, station to try to make contact again. And usually on that second or third time, I'll get that full call sign and be able to complete that contact. And so uh, this will be a lot of fun. We're gonna head down to the service module and um, I think you'll really enjoy this. So come on along. We're coming into the, uh, to node one out of the airlock and uh, we'll head down to the uh, to the Russian service module, down to the uh, to the uh, aft end of the uh, space station. So we'll come come through here and uh, and uh, watch watch your head coming into PMA one, and uh, please watch your speed. The speed limit here is 17,500 miles per hour, and uh, it is checked by radar. So here we go. Coming up into PMA one. And this we have, use this for a lot of storage. Uh, we have a lot of our clothing and things, uh, uh, hygiene products uh, stored in here. And uh, coming into the uh, to the Russian segment here, and um, down at the deck level and going nadir towards to be towards the Earth. Um, in this location is the is the MIM one, the MRM, the Mini Research Module. And you can see down there, way down at the other end of the of the meme is our Soyuz Olympus, uh, which we will get into. We can see all the way down into the, um, there's our hatch actually, um, down into the Soyuz. And um, actually that's Fyodor down there uh, working uh, to get the capsule ready for our departure. And um, that's where the Soyuz, uh, that's where we docked the Soyuz uh, back uh, several months ago. So there's the meme one. And then coming from the uh, uh, the pressurized adapter here, mating adapter, we come into the FGB, or the functional cargo block of the um, of the space station of the Russian segment. We're now in the Russian segment, and uh, and um, the functional cargo block is, is just that. It's a uh, it's a lot of a lot of cargo, a lot of systems in here. And see, these are all food containers uh, that we have, and these are also um, some supplies and. Um, and spare parts for uh, uh, for both of the uh, the bathrooms on board, and um, those are located in here as well. Behind each of these panels along the wall, um, you can pull those panels off, and there's there are systems uh, back there as well, systems and storage of different different items. So we come through the uh, through the FGB, we just kind of float through the tunnel here, and we'll come up on the. Um, on the pressurized mating adapter between the FGB and the service module, actually part of part of the service module, and um, and uh, we'll look Nader first, and Nader takes us into the docking compartment, and um, in the docking compartment are is where the um, Russian EVAs are launched from. You can see the um, the Orlon spacesuits that are hanging on the wall. There's uh, there's Fyodor's uh, spacesuit, and then. Uh, and then Oleg's spacesuit that they wore on these last uh, couple of EVAs, and um, and then down down here through this hatch is one of our progress vehicles. Uh, that was a resupply vehicle that docked at the latest. It's Progress 40, uh, 40P. There that brought us uh, resupplies, and uh, that's docked the Nader uh, at the at the Nader end of the uh, docking compartment. So turning Zenith now. And we look. Uh, we're looking zenith. We got the MRM2, the MIM2, the uh, little, uh, the mini research module uh, that points uh, towards deep space. It's actually on the native, uh, zenith side of the space station, and um, and Soyuz 24S, the Soyuz that uh, that uh, Sasha and Scott and Oleg came up in in October, is parked at the um, at the zenith end of the MIM2. So you can see all the way down into the Soyuz. 
and there's uh, there's actually the commander seat inside of the Soyuz 24S. We'll continue down now into the service module uh, where the ham radio is located. This is also the the uh, central post of the um, of the space station, the command the command post. And uh, coming into the service module, this is the well the central post here where we uh, where we gather in the in the event of an emergency. We also gather down here from time to time uh, for meals. We try to eat meals uh, each uh, each night as a crew. And we're coming up on the um, on the uh, ham radio now, and this is the um, actually the uh, the map that we use for our pass. And you can see uh, this is uh, this is our track. This is actually a program called Sigma, and you can see the red dot there. It's coming up on the Oregon coast, and so we'll be ready to pick up with our uh, with our conversations with our ham radio friends here in just a few moments. And here's the ham radio, just on the uh, on the starboard wall of the uh, of the space station, located here. And um, of course, the antenna is out outside. We've got a pretty powerful transmitter and receiver as well. Okay, we're here in the service module of the Russian segment, and uh, this is the command post of the uh, space station. We're going to go ahead and turn on the ham radio, and I'll have the microphone uh, sort of near the uh, speaker so you can hear the calls coming in. Again, we're in November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra, or NA1SS, and we're coming up on the Oregon coast now, and uh, we'll go ahead and turn the radio on, and I'll let you listen to our transmissions as we, as we go over the U.S. NA1SS, NA1SS. You can hear the calls come. This is November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra, the International Space Station. Over. You can, you can. And uh, we've talked before, and I uh, was hoping to catch you uh, before See, you go home there. I got, a, I got a, uh, I got a call from Craig. And Craig, uh, say your call sign again, please. Yes, November 6, Radio Sierra X-ray. November 6, Radio Sierra X-ray. Over, over. Okay, November 6, Radio Sierra X-ray. We've got you loud and clear aboard the International Space Station. Welcome aboard. It's great to talk to you again, Craig. So you can hear a little bit of the static. There's a lot of the calls coming in. So this is what we have to listen to to try to... See, I got an EXP, so... I heard the Echo X-Ray Bravo missed the first part of the call sign, but this is November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra, the International Space Station. Over. Kilo Delta Zero, Echo X-Ray Victor, sir. Okay, Kilo Delta Zero, Echo X-Ray Victor. We've got you loud and clear. Welcome aboard the International Space Station, November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra. I copied Juliet, Juliet Bravo, missed the first part of the call sign, but this is November Alpha 1, Sierra, Sierra, the International Space Station, over. This is November 0, Kilo Golf Mike. November 0, Kilo Golf Mike, we've got you loud and clear aboard the International Space Station, welcome aboard. Okay, Colonel, very good, uh, nice to make a contact with you again, and uh, hey, just a question, I saw your Twitter profile picture, is that uh, Everest Space Camp, go ahead? Yeah, it sure is. It's uh, it's Mount Everest, and I uh, went. I was there. That was taken at base camp. Uh, have you been there? Oh yeah, yeah. We've been to base camp a couple of. Yeah, it was just such a such a beautiful day, and uh, and such a such an incredible shot of uh, of Everest that I wanted to take it there. Um, I had uh, my spacewalking buddy uh, Scott Parazinski from my uh, shuttle flight uh, uh, back a couple of years, uh, three years ago. Um, was uh, trying for the summit. I, I just was going to base camp and then, uh, and then um, uh, just around, around base camp there. Calling November Alpha. N0 WAR. This is November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra, the International Space Station. Over. So you can hear a lot of the static. Got a lot of calls coming in and a lot of them get kind of piled on top of each other. N6 RF RFX, we've got you loud and clear aboard the space station. Welcome aboard November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra. So you can hear a lot of the static. 
We're just getting fit to the call sign. Yeah, I, I missed the question over. Yeah, what's the first dinner you're going to have? What's your first meal when you get home there, Doug? Go ahead. First meal, huh? I don't know. Uh, maybe bluebell ice cream uh, with a uh, two-pound bag of peanut M&Ms or something. That sounds great. That sounds <laughs> great. Well, thanks a lot, and, uh, and I hope you have a great trip home, and uh, really have enjoyed uh, all, the, uh, all the great contact uh, with you uh, on this trip. I'll let others uh, get back in there. NA1SS, N6RSX, 73 is deck. Best of luck. Thank you very much. And N6RSX, uh, actually, I was sort of kidding about that. I, I'm looking forward to, like, fresh, just fresh vegetables and fruit is really what I'm looking forward to. I can imagine. I can imagine. Uh, and I'm sure you have a list of, uh, of things to do and, uh, and uh, play with the family and all of that. So uh, best of luck, Doug. Thank you very much. It's been great uh, talking to you. 73 to you. 73 means uh, best wishes. So now you can hear a lot of static, and we do have a squelch so we can control a little bit of that static. Sometimes I'll go off frequency. This is channel one that I'm using now, which is sort of the generic uh, contact channel over North America. See, I missed that one. I heard KI-6 and then missed the second part of the call sign. This is November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra, the International Space Station, over. It's getting really jumbled up now, losing a lot of signals. Let's see where we are. We're, we're... Copied Kilo Foxtrot 7, India Oscar, and then missed the last letter. This is November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra, the International Space Station, over. So it's getting really jammed up on channel one. So I'll go, I'll go to a simplex channel, channel five, and usually that's a lot clearer. There we go. We're getting some calls over Mexico. Zero Papa Delta. And zero Papa Delta got you loud and clear aboard the space station. Welcome aboard. It's great to talk to you again as well. I, I missed the call sign. It got blocked. Could you say again for the space station? Whiskey Zero, Papa Delta, W Zero, PD. Okay, great. I thought I was missing a letter there. So Whiskey Zero, Papa Delta, we've got you loud and clear. It's great to talk to you again aboard the International Space Station. This is Colonel Doug Wheelock and uh, 73 to you. All right, 73. So we're now over, uh, looks like we're over central New Mexico, kind of coming down uh, near Brownsville, kind of paralleling the Rio Grande River. Pretty quiet there tonight, but I'll make a call, make a call to see what, what kind of response we get. This is November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra, the International Space Station, over. Okay, Colin from Texas. I missed the call sign. This is November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra, the International Space Station. Over. Let's see how hard it is to hear the. I heard an Oscar, so. Okay, I uh, heard an Oscar there, and I missed the first, the whole first part of that call sign, but this is November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra. I got you the last part of it loud and clear aboard the International Space Station. Welcome aboard. We should, we're going to start whiskey five, sugar, sugar, Victor. whiskey five sugar sugar victor we've got you loud and clear welcome aboard the international space station no barrel for one sugar sugar Whiskey 5, Sugar, Sugar, Victor. I will take you up on that. That's a, that Beaumont, that'll be a short hop for me. And uh, we'll come over and uh, do a little talk for your club and uh, and uh, have some dinner together. That'd be, a, that'd be a nice treat for me. Well, we appreciate it, Doug. Uh, excuse me. Dinner 
will definitely be on us when you get down on the ground. I'll QSL you and we'll get together. I know our club will be looking forward to it. We've got seven or eight of them out there right now listening, and they've been trying to talk to you, so I'm going to keep it short. Thank you, and uh, good luck coming home. This is Whiskey 5 Sugar Sugar Victor, KB5 MBJ. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Zulu 5. Great to talk to you. 73 to you. Stop. We had a couple of calls coming in there while I was answering him back, so it's just copy the WA-5, but missed the second part. Whiskey Alpha 5, and then I missed the second part of the call sign. This is November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra, the International Space Station, over. 